and the teaching block. Once I began, you can see from the top of this side. Let's drop back down. And now let's go to the teaching block. The teaching block right now is quite detailed. Uh, you know, just a few scraps, bits here and there, not yet, you know, texture errors. But, you know, whiteboard, this is the business room, projectors there, odd mirrors, tables, all square tables, and a little business stall room. Uh, I think Mr. Bly sits in there sometimes. And then uh, there's the language room, there's the TV there, but right now they're just floating. Uh, they won't fall on you. And the bigger language room. Uh, you can see the floor and the colors are correct. Let's go to the second floor. See the correct colors. Mirror, I mean, the windows are in the right places. Um, look into the geography room. And, you know, that's the back store with all the books there. Uh, the math room, which is quite detailed right now. You know, TVs on top of the filing cabinets, and there's two bookshelves. There's Daniel White being silly, just before going to sixth form. Taste this day, back then. And there's the mini whiteboard and the projector. And uh, to the, the one of the best rooms, <laughs> English room and media room. And there's the back storeroom, the TV that we, well, someone dropped, nearly crushed them. And, uh, well, that's it. I smashed one of the TVs once when trying to carry it upstairs, but it still works, so it's fine. Uh, next to the teaching box is the PE room. This room is not eight at all, it's only two tables uh, at the right place, but only two tables. And all these rooms here are not populated, there's nothing in them. And there's the IT block. Inside, you see again, it's only tables, but in the actual IT room, there's all the computers again. And again, they are all the same computers that insult that guy which is good because I hate him and lots of other people too and again walk up here this is actually a long jump pit it's actually made up of a photo that I took at the long jump pit uh, those of you who have not jumped into the sand pit uh, I would advise you not to ever, it smells weird. Probably lots of blood and sweat and God knows what's inside that pit. All the rain over the years. Uh, this, there used to be a wooden board here that covers this little uh, hill, mountain area. It's gone now. It's just flattened. And this is the back of the spot saw. Uh, you can see up here that the uh, Path to Tristram is not there, it's just a mountain that goes on forever. <laughs> It'll be too much work to carry on building it, but I might carry on making it later. Uh, you can see a swimming pool. That store room at the back. So let's just go to the front of the spot saw. That's the bus stop. And where everyone waits. Got the stairs. Steps. And we go in. This is the first building I built for this map. Uh, you can see the floor textures are taken, all the textures are taken from the actual sports saw. So this is the boys changing room, it's quite detailed, all the blackboards and the windows on the top. The shower, with the little step. And the toilets, uh, some sinks are in. Thing that's always clogged, and a little blue box of laundry. It's, it's just blue. Right, right now I'm just gonna change the skin to someone else. Uh, 
I'll change to Cody. Looks a bit like her. The model's too tall. She's not that really that tall. Uh, There's a disabled toilet. It's only a sink in there. And the uh, PE staff room. The girls' changing room. Uh, the windows here are black. You can smash them, but you can't look through them. That rusty bin at the back and bits of the toilet there. Sinks are in. I said the girls' changing room. We'll go get inside the swimming pool. Yes, you can swim in it. For those of you who actually play Jedi Academy, but it's nothing special. Um, I couldn't make. If I made ladders, I don't know how to make them climb up it. They don't usually climb up ladders, so there are many steps instead. You just have to press jump and walk towards it to get out. And then there's the actual sports hall with all those blue mats and the basketball rings. And then there's some shields that you can pick up. Uh, the PE storeroom with the fire exit. So on and so forth. Walk up to the back of the sports hall. It's a large field area. If only the leaves were working, it would look a lot better. So I'll just rise up here and let you see the whole map again. And it's a field, main field, with the tennis courts. Colors are not that right yet, but you know, you can see it, it's the right shape, the two doors. <laughs> this is the smokers area. A bit obvious in my opinion. Just never seem to get caught. I just place one photo here of the actual world. You can't actually walk up to it because it's invisible water, but you can walk up quite close and see the church in the distance, a few cars and houses. Doesn't look right, of course. Here's the second exit. That's the signs there. Dalham School Outdoor and Environmental Education. And there's the Dallin website. Uh, you see this block here next to the tennis court? It's not populated, but I think it's the right shape. Oh, the windows are down. It's Mr. Holdup's house. It's just two big blocks right now, so no 